This is a story now we have been following. An 11-year-old girl on her way to school grabbed and raped in a vacant home in Highland Park. Well, today, her alleged attacker faced a judge. And a 7 Action News reporter, Julie Bonovich, reports he wasn't alone in the courtroom. The man accused of raping an 11-year-old, he had his family in court here to support him today, a family who claims he's innocent. This is the first time 24-year-old Ramirez Dewberry appears in court. He's a homeless man who police believe raped an 11 year old girl trying to catch a school bus in December. He would never rape a girl. He would never do that. Never. That's Ramirez's sister, Solie. She lives in Detroit. Solie defends her brother. My brother, he used to squat. That's the only thing he's probably a victim of or uh, guilty, of. guilty of is being a, a, a squatter. Police say Ramirez dragged the girl into an abandoned home where he attacked her and then let her go. They are framing him. He has a child on the way. He is not a bad man. Police tell us they found Ramirez's cell phone in an abandoned home that he may have been living in. Police also tell us they found DNA evidence. Whatever DNA and all that other crap that they say they found, they're lying. If anything, they probably found some clothes or something of his that he may have left behind in an abandoned home. But he is not a rapist at all. So Lee says her brother doesn't have a job and that he composes music and writes poetry. Police arrested Ramirez in Howell, coming in from Chicago on a mega bus. Until I talk to him and he tells me himself that he raped an 11 year old girl, he is not a rapist. Ramirez faces four felony charges, including criminal sexual conduct in the first and second degree. Dewberry was remanded without bond. He'll now go to the Wayne County Jail before his next court date on January 20th. From Highland Park, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. Okay, Julie, thank you.